Hi friends, my name is Al or Lil Starnard and welcome to another video in my 12 days of Christmas. It's that time of year. Everyone is making their wish lists. All the stores have all of their best stuff out in the windows, out online. They're pushing their advertisements down your throat. And you know, I, I'm i falling for it a little bit. I'm thinking about all the things that I, I want to have, but I'm not exactly thinking about my wish list, like my Christmas wish list. Instead, this has me thinking about all the things that I would one day love to own when I have my dream art studio and I'm super rich and you know, money is no obstacle and I can buy whatever I want in extreme quantities. I think most artists are probably the same. We have this dream art studio in our heads that is probably never going to be achievable but we think about how we would design it all the time. And you go to art stores and you point at things and say like, one day when I'm rich, I'm gonna buy all of these. I've been thinking about that. <laughs> So today we are going to do some self-indulgent window shopping. <laughs> I'm going to tell you some of the things that I just dream of one day being able to own. And you know what? Maybe you'll find some things to put on your own wish list this year. Is this incredibly self-indulgent and silly and pointless? Yes. But let me dream, okay? <laughs> And also let me know what you're asking for for Christmas so I can maybe get some ideas for my own wish list. And let me know if any of these things are things that you're also interested in. Okay, obviously we can start with um, the full Copic set. I think most artists who work with markers dream of... $2,000? I'm sorry, $2,000? I was gonna say, I think we all dream of one day owning this, but I don't know if I feel like spending $2,000 on some markers. Actually, you know what? Seeing this giant price tag, I'm gonna mention this. I have an Ohu affiliate code, uh, and Ohus are a great, great alternative, cheaper alternative to Copics, and I genuinely really love them and I use them all the time. So if you also gagged a little bit at $2,000, I'm gonna link that down below for you, okay? <laughs> But you know, $2,000, we have limitless money. We have limitless fantasy money. So we're adding this to the list. Okay, let's go to Holbein because I know, I know there's stuff I want from Holbein. Our products, new products, Erodori Artist Gouache. Oh my gosh, I want all of these. Are they like seasonal? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Why can't I, can you let me buy stuff from your store, please? Mm-mm, I want it, I want it, I want it. Oh, I. Oh my God, they're so expensive. You know what? We're gonna add stuff to the cart. We're gonna see how much this racks up to. Obviously I need all of these. Add to cart, add to cart, add to cart, add to cart. Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to Copics. Full Copic marker set. Oh my gosh, that hurts still. Rebecca Green. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh, I want these colors. Um, yes, please. Yes, please. I eat up color palettes. Put something in a color palette and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I I need that. That I've never seen that before and I need it. It's like the same things that I've always looked at, just arranged. Full set of 102 colors and 20 milliliter tubes. Okay, add, you can add this to the list. Colored pencils. Oh yeah, I've tried some of their colored pencils and I really like them. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of colors. I love swatch sheets. <laughs> Color pencil, 150 colors. Is that how many they have? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not counting. I'm assuming that's about it. I'm gonna add that to the cart. Do I need more colored pencils? Yes. <laughs> the way if I was rich, I would just have boxes of like giant like sets of things. Let's go to Blick and let's just like shop around Blick. You know what I've been thinking about? Like if I just had like limitless money, I would get a giant bucket of gesso. Gesso is really expensive, like really expensive. I have a tiny little bucket and it was like 20 bucks. And because it's so expensive, I never use it. I'm afraid to like waste it on things, but I hate canvas. I would love to be gessoing things. $40, but if I just had like a bunch of money, I would be spending so much on gesso. Let's just add a random one to the cart. Boom. What else? Let's go to paints. Gamblin. I don't know enough about oil paints to like know, oh my God, to know like what brands are the best. Let's look for oil painting set. Holbein, look at those colors. I love, I love these colors. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this actually, you know what? Let's do plain air easel. This is something that like I cannot justify buying right now, but if I had a bunch of money to just like throw away, I would get one of these so fast. Would I use it? 
Who knows? Okay, I, I think I like the look of this one. Let's see what it has. Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, we're adding that to the cart. And that also makes me think, um, I want a tabletop easel. I can picture like in my dream studio, I would have like a little desk, like a little station for everything. One would be for like packing orders, one would be for like a digital setup, and one would be like your art. And I would need a tabletop easel for that, for sure. There's a specific kind that I want. Like, I don't like these kinds. Like there's kind of like this, but like more simple. Yeah, that, this, this is exactly what I want. Oh my God, that's so expensive. Please let me have art supplies. Stop making them so expensive. You know what the dream is? Arches paper. I have never let myself even try it when it's available to me because I don't want to try it and fall in love with it and then be sad that I can't afford it beyond that. Like, why is it so expensive? Like, honestly, why, why are they so expensive? 10 sheets, 10 sheets for $60. This makes me sad. $100 for 20 sheets. Oh my God. See, I could never afford this. I also don't know if I like hot press or cold press. Like, I don't know if I've ever paid attention. So I guess we'll have to buy both. This just confuses me. Like I look at this and I'm immediately like, you know what? Never mind. Maybe I don't care about oil painting. Like, how are there so many different options? Can't they just get, like make it simple for me? I'm not smart. Really quick, let's interrupt to go to Sugar House Ceramico. I, you know, I love Lee. I see Lee's little, I see her little palettes, and every time I'm like, mmm. I want one, but they are always sold out. And even when they're not sold out, they're really expensive. And like, again, it's just one of those things that I cannot justify. I'm cheap. It's really hard for me to like spend money on anything unless it's like really necessary. But look at how pretty I would. I want that one so badly. I mean, I could get anything from here, any of their little ceramic things, and I would be so happy. But I think definitely like this and like this, like one of their like just regular palettes, but I do love the speckled finish. Like I want this. I Their packaging photos are so good. Look at, oh my God, look at the squiggle one. I want the squiggle one. Wait, where are those? <laughs> oh, mm, it's only $12. I kind of want it, but it's definitely just one of those things that like I would buy and then literally never use. Like I just wouldn't use it. Back to Blick. Do they have the Van Gogh colors? I don't even know if these are good. I've only tested a few, but I just want them because they're Van Gogh. <laughs> like, I think it's probably the blue stripe on top, but like they look cheap to me. Does anyone else kind of think they look cheap? But they're going in the cart. Oh, okay, I thought of something really good. Pastel pencil set. I used these almost exclusively throughout like high school because that's what my like mentor who taught private lessons, like that's what she taught me to use. And since then, they were too expensive for me to get my own. So I haven't used them since, but I really would love to try again. But there are a lot of new options now. Like I've, these were not around back then, but I mean, she didn't buy them at the very least. Karen Dosh, I would love to try this. $300 for a set of 76. What were the cheaper options? Oh my God, 20 is $60. Jesus Christ. This is what I remember using. Set of 60 for, oh, that's actually much more affordable. Like that I could almost see buying now. Faber Castell, yeah, there we go. 60 for $100, that's not awful in comparison to some of the other things. Since this isn't just about supplies, but also like my dream studio, let's look at like the studio furniture that they have. Oh, speaking of furniture, this chair by Fully, like this ergonomic chair, cause my back is messed up. I would love a thousand dollars. Add it to the list. We have limitless money, add it to the list. Oh, I kind of like the green color. I also would love a stool for like my standing desk when I like, I could push it under and stuff. Oh, cute. I'm a, I'm a funky chair kind of person. $240, add it to the list. So we won't look at furniture here, but I do want to look at like stuff. You know what I mean? For your studio. Portfolios, brush holders and organizers, desk. Oh, desk organizers. I love me some organization. Although art organization is like, stuff is really hard to find. That is like actually, that actually works well. Yeah, see, none of this is like particularly calling to me. I would love a drying rack. If I had like a big studio, I would kill for a drying rack. Like, would that not make you feel like the most like professional, like legit artist? Single side drying rack, that looks like basic and easy. Okay, so definitely a drying rack. Like that genuinely, like if I had a lot of money, that would be one of the first things I would buy in like my dream studio. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. 
cubbies. Yes, yep, this is what I want. I think something like this would be so great. Add to cart a thousand dollars. I feel like you could make something like that. You know what I mean? But I do think it would genuinely be really helpful in a studio. So it would it would be worth a thousand dollars, I guess, if I have a lot of money. Let's actually go back because I want to look at like the drawers. I would love like a big like chest metal like chest thing with like the really long drawers. I think that would be really nice. Like the long thin drawers. Like I guess like that, but like not in a cabinet. I think that's ugly. <laughs> Okay, whatever, it's fine. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, I would want this. Except honestly, I could probably get by with just one. I would probably only need one, if I'm being honest, because I would just want it for craft paper. Maybe that makes sense. Although, no, I want it on the wall. I think that looks cooler. Are these not all the same? Oh, they're <laughs> the width. Um, probably 36 is fine. I love that. I've been looking for craft paper. I just like, something about craft paper is like, I need it. For some reason, I could find uses, you know? Oh, another thing for like furniture is a marker organizer. Like I have the cubbies up here and people always ask where they're from. They were from Michael's. They're not sold there anymore. And that's not how they were sold. Like my dad had to make me extra grids for the markers. Like those aren't made anywhere. Like I try to find stuff like that. They are like, they are not made. But like the dream, like see, like this is not what I want. This is not what anyone wants. Like this, but like huge, you know? I think one day I'm just gonna have to like make it myself. I have no idea where to find one of those, but that is on the list for sure. Like one day I want that. I really want to make my own watercolor palette. To do that, I would need to like know watercolors better. Like I don't know two watercolors at all. I only use pans. So I definitely have to like learn that, but I would love like one day I would love to make my own palette, like squeeze out my own tubes and make my own palette. I think one like this. Yeah, I really like this, except this, this one's kind of ugly. <laughs> But this is definitely like what I'm picturing. We'll add this, honestly, 20 bucks. Ooh, a schminky one. The thing is, is like you have to like, I would really wanna be careful about picking the color. So I would have to test a bunch of different brands and a bunch of different colors and do a bunch of like work and research before I do that. So um, I'm putting it off. Ooh, you know what I want? I would love Wacom's like newest, I think it might be this one, 2021 version. They have like a newer tablet We'll just, we'll just put this one on the cart. Do I do a lot of digital art? No, I have a Wacom one. It works great. I love it. I honestly probably would never need to upgrade from that. But in this scenario where I have limitless money in my dream studio, like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm gonna like go crazy. 27 inch touch. Oh my gosh, a touch. Okay, $1,500. Jeez. Add to cart. I don't want to spoil the cart total. Like I'm trying not to look at it because I want that to be a painful surprise. And I feel like I haven't even like gotten much stuff. You know what I mean? Like I've gotten, I feel like I've gotten a few things. And of course in this dream scenario where I like just have endless money and have free time to like try whatever I want and do whatever, I would definitely invest in like lino cutting stuff and also like clay stuff. Is there like a lino cutting set? No. Oh, that's cute. Okay a good beginner thing, I guess. But like, I would love, like if I could, I would love investing in a bunch of like clay stuff and, and sculpting stuff, but like gotta juggle my priorities, you know? Okay, so we've got like digital stuff. I have the all the gouache and acrylic gouache, uh, watercolor stuff, a full set of markers. We have paper, but I guess we could put um, this, my favorite sketchbook in there a few times. There she is. We're gonna put literally 10 of her in there. I feel like that about covers it. Like obviously, like if I literally had limitless money, I would probably just buy every single art supply that I ever came across. But in terms of like off the top of my head, what would I want one day? I think we've about covered my bases. Okay, let's look at the Blick subtotal. So this is just what was in the cart. Oh my God. <laughs> My subtotal from Blick is almost $3,000. I think we spent like $1,500 at Fully. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My subtotal for Amazon is $4,300. Oh my gosh. And I have how many? I have eight items. I have eight items in this cart and I'm spending $4,300. So in total, we've spent like 11,000, 10,000, 11,000 plus, yeah, probably like $11,000. Yeah, okay. Okay, so like maybe never, this might never happen. 
this stresses me out. <laughs> this stresses me out. So obviously most of these things are never gonna happen, certainly not anytime soon. I hope that over time I'm able to kind of collect the supplies that I really, really want. Like all the Holbein tubes and more Copic markers and maybe even a pastel pencil set. And maybe one day I will have my dream art studio where I have like six separate desks and stations for everything that I do. But for now I have this corner of my bedroom and honestly I'm blessed to have just that. This has honestly gotten me inspired though to like think of some things for my actual Christmas wish list because I really had no idea what I was going to put on it. I know this is a bit more of a chill video, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did like comment, subscribe, but yeah, let me know what you're asking for. And let me know if like any of the stuff that I've been looking for is also something on like your dream list. We can cry over prices together. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go, go watch a holiday movie, make a nice warm drink and go do some art.